Ja, Mann. <lacht> Little pricey, eleven ninety nine, by the way. But all right, there we go. Let's see. I can barely see anything. That's the same fucking shit like the developer usually does. Okay. That's three. I don't understand why this guy can put out fucking like tons of airy games, but S Mobile can't put out a break game. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. It's the same fucking game, I don't think. Ooh, I can, can I have coffee too? Okay. Uh, did I get lost? Liking this uh, first level looks kind of fucking cheap. Looks like with the colors, they kind of use the colors as an excuse not to make nice graphics. So, oh, it's underwater, so how good could it look? Yeah, okay. Yeah, my ass. You could have made it look better. Looks, this looks like crap so far, but I'm playing it, but doesn't look that great, this first level. So, it looks like a cheap version of Aerie, which is not good. Like they phoned it in. It looks definitely like they phoned it in. It looks terrible. Compared to the other ones? My god, what the fuck did they do? What is this? My god. Definitely a downgrade, that's for sure. Maybe that's why he wants to get a game out every month. Happy 37th birthday, Daniel! I missed it, I'm sorry! Oh my god! Happy birthday to the Daniel in Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Happy birthday to you. You're 37. Ooh, ooh. What are you gonna do? Who you're gonna watch my stream of airy? There you go. Like that? You don't even have to pay for that. See that? I did it for free. <laughs> Look at that shit. You go, Daniel. Thirty-seven. Wow. That's right. What's up, bro? Oh, Dave, I gotta tell you, man, but I can't, I gotta, I can't tell, don't mention where I work, Dave, but those bastards suspended me. <laughs> I'll tell you later on the phone. What a bunch of bastards over there. Don't mention the name, though, where I work, but they suspended me, so I'm on vacation with pay. They made a big mistake, that company. That's for sure. Big mistake, Dave. They made a big mistake. How stupid are they? Any, how you doing, Dave? Doing all right? How's the family? I miss seeing you guys. You, Jerry, Jeff. Huh? Yep, text me. Ha! Ah! Yeah, I, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna send a stream, but I'll tell you. Let me pause this for a second. Hold on, so I can talk to Dave one second.
<laughs> yeah. I'm on the live stream. Yeah. But I'm just uh give it a minute. Um, All right, I'm going back to the stream. All right, sorry guys. I was talking to one of the greatest damn workers on my place ever. My friend Dave, I love him and miss him. The guy was the fucking greatest. What a wonderful fucking human being. Always thoughtful, always um, gave me rides and stuff. I fucking love him to death. He's a great friend. Um, all right, so now back to Aerie. Again, this game is crappy. Looks like it. Sorry to make you guys wait. Um... Yeah, I think that they did the color schematic bad because they just wanted to cheapen the graphics. I will, Dave. I'll let you know. Okay. That's Act 1. Even the bird looks shitty. Uh, it's possible. I think they, he did in the comics, right? Hmm. All right, so this graphics don't look that advanced either. 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, look, hey, I love every games. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm gonna say that they just rushed them out because this guy's trying to get one out a month. Think about this. Eleven ninety nine puts out two versions, right? Makes twenty something dollars, a little more than twenty dollars, right? So if he puts out that and you have a loyal fan base that keeps buying them, we're paying for this guy's mortgage. I mean basically. He's good. So again, I just wish the break games would continue from S Mobile because this guy allowing to do it. But then S-Mobile doesn't. That's, you know, I love S-Mobile. Again, I like this company too, but not as much as S-Mobile because this company doesn't fix their broken games. And I sent a message to the guy yesterday. Like, you, we bought the game. We can't plot and it. Fix it. Don't just put out five new airy games and thinks it's cool. You're ruining my completion response percentage a lot of people are very serious on the leaderboards and they want to have a hundred percent completion percentage meaning that every game they play they complete it right so this is a serious serious thing of competition like there's some people that go for ultra rares there's some people that want a hundred percent so now anybody that played the airy game you can't erase that whole achievement you will always be incomplete so you will never have a perfect record because of Aerie. So you got some people out there really fucking hot about it because they want... A, it's not about refund. It's about ruining their record. So they want them to patch it so they can finish the game. Or else they can never be 100%. And they're grimy about it because their whole life they're buying every game purposely to beat. So now just think about how mad these people could get, right? That you just fucked over them. You can't erase the achievement. Like, you can't... That's the thing. Something like that, you should be able to erase the whole entire thing. But Sony's not erasing it. So that means that you have a broken game you can't finish, and you can't be 100%. So, I mean, I don't really care. I, I mean, I want to have a nice percentage, but I'm not like that where everything's going to be 100%, but... Some people are. <sighs> Some people are. They're really angry. And uh, you can't blame them, honestly. You got this fucking company that just, you know, you don't want to give them refunds. They don't want to, like, so then what do you... And not only that, but there was three fucking get four games. So you totally shit <laughs> on your fucking customers, honestly. And it's just, there's no explanation. Like, why don't you just fix it? Like, I don't understand, like... Like, you had to see the stunts that they pulled, and I, I could be wrong, but I went to talk to them. They started talking to me in German. I got the Google Translator. I sent them messages in German. Okay, try again. But, like, <laughs> you know, like, don't fucking, like, you're not going to answer me like that. All right, so now I'll talk to you in your own fucking language. So, and they're like, oh, we're working on it. Okay, months later. Oh, we're working on it. Months later. Oh, we can't fix it. Why? Because we don't know how... And we don't want to look like an ass to Sony. Well, you're going to look like an ass to Sony because everybody's going to post on the leaderboards that your fucking company sucks. I mean, for doing that. So just find out from Sony, get educated, and fix them. It's Sky Castle, which was always a glitch. But that's not the main one. The main ones, I think, are the European versions of, like, what? Airy Vikings. Correct me if I'm wrong. Airy Vikings, Last Man on Earth... And Combine 3, I think, right? There was th there was three, right? I think it was three. So, you know, that's the thing. It's like, get Sony to help you and fix it. Like, fix the problem, honestly. Why have a game that exists that... Why, why would you want... This is what I don't understand, right? Why would you want to be known throughout the gaming community? All your fans bitching about you like wouldn't you want to fix that and then what the thing you did wrong was you thought instead of fixing it let me put out like three more aries no and then you decided nobody cared for that shit you did all these other things like the paper fucking airplane that's instead of it's a bird it's a paper airplane 
People are not stupid. So, like, well, I mean, why don't you just fucking... And then you started putting Airy games back, which is fine. Because I'll buy them, but fix the other games. Like, why can't you fix them? How are you being... Al- and that's the thing. I think, weren't you banned? I think the company was banned. Or from a releasing in Europe. Because, like, the, the Europe games are fucked up. But now they're back. I don't know what's going on. So, like... So, if Sony's so strict about these companies copy and pasting and they won't let companies like S-Mobile do break games, but then they're going to let this guy put out fucking 12 versions of Aerie, which don't mind me. If if it would, I wouldn't mind it because I like the Aerie games, but there's always a risk now being that there was four broken games and this guy releases 12 or more a year. There's always a risk that you're going to spend eleven ninety nine, and you're not going to be happy because you're not going to be able to finish it. So, I'm not bashing the company. I'm I'm giving some constructive criticism to fix your games that are broken so that way your fan base doesn't turn on you, which they already have, and your sales have went in the toilet. So, like, take the sales out of the toilet, apologize. Maybe you need a PR person. Say, hi, um, we just finally took care of ourselves. We're sorry about this going in forward in the future. We'll look to accommodate and, and right away to handle this thing properly and fastly and justly. I mean, that like some bullshit. Put out a fucking statement or something. But, well, get help to fix it. I mean, the whole point was you, you left out a level <laughs> so you can't get the platinum, right? So put the fucking level back in. Do a DLC or something. Like, why is it so difficult? A level that you had, can't you just put it in as a DLC and then the and then the platinum pops? I don't understand. But why why do you want to leave the game fucked up? Like why? To this day, I don't know. Like, could somebody tell me the reasoning behind why that's why you're the first game in history to fucking have a broken game not fixed? Unless, of course, the game went. The company went belly up, but you didn't go belly up. You're putting out more area games. So your company's not going out of business, so you can't say that. So just, what's the deal? Why won't you patch anything? And then the other company's like, yeah, we, they could patch it, so patch it. I'm going to be here regardless buying them, but I'm just saying, like, why would you want to create a negative stir about your company? That's all. You create a game called Airy Calm Mind, and it's not calm because you're giving somebody stressed out that they can't finish it. You just realize that? Good question. Um, maybe because Marvel doesn't know how he can handle it. All right, this level, um, again, it, it looks like the graphics have been, I'm sorry, it's uh, downgraded 100% to what we're used to. But it makes sense how they got this game out so fucking fast, which, you know what, I'm not going to complain. I accept it. I want a platinum. Again, there's a lack of games coming out lately. And I, I notice it, and it's not like before, and yeah, me too. That would be cool, the Juggernaut. Maybe he will. He was going to be in the new movie, but, uh, oh shit. He was going to be in the new movie, but um, he opted out, I guess, right? The, the actor, he didn't want he didn't want to put the fucking, I guess the actor's rich, he didn't give a fuck, he didn't really want to. You don't want to put the, the suit on. Oh, I can't wait for the new Planet of the Apes, bro. We got to reschedule, man. I really I, I really miss you. <laughs> and I miss Jerry and Jeff. I really want to, like, see you guys go to David Buster's, you know? Well, even if we can get away for a donut or something, coffee. I would definitely love to see you. You have some time now. <laughs> I have time now, my hands, Dave. <laughs> Sharon just said, "I see that. Get out of the house. Go with Dave to Country Donuts or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. 
See that? That's that's my missus right there. She's like telling me, get out. That's the good shopper. Yeah. The good shopper. I remember him. Dave, yeah. See that, Dave? She remembers all the, the free shit yeah, you giving her from, like, Costco and shit. We still got that dried broccoli. The what? The dried up, the dried broccoli. Remember, it was in the big canister. Broccoli? Oh, we do. Like I don't even eat that, but yeah. Oh, uh, okay. But he gave you all those coffees. Remember, he wasn't. He gave you all the coffees he wasn't using, right? I don't remember the coffee. Yeah. That was a long ago, time ago. Yeah. I miss you, Dave. Dave was the greatest fucking worker in existence. Love him, man. I love Jerry too. I miss him too, man. My people, my friends, gonna do a new YouTube series like Spider Man and his amazing friends. It's gonna be Matrix Lord 212 and his amazing friends. Matrix Lord and Dave. Da -na 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 -na. Jeff and Jerry. See Ghostbusters yet, anybody? I would go if it wasn't fucking pouring. But they could stop now, right? Yeah. No, it didn't. <laughs> Isn't it crazy winds today? Well, that's tonight. I think it is. <coughs> Sharon's giving me the forecast here. Why well, fly around like a bird? See that? I fly around like a bird, yo. Ah. Uh. I didn't see it. You heard what I said? Um, oh, New Jersey's flooded? Wow. Everybody's good. Family's good, bro. Getting big, right, the kids? My kids are big. 23 and 25, bro. You believe that? They're men. They're not even, like, just... They're not even teenagers. They're, like... <laughs> Right? The train was flooded out today. Was it? Which one? Due to flooding, Staten Island Railroad train service. Flooded. I remember, Dave, remember that time there was the there was the hurricane thing and the company was like, oh, you want to sleep in the store because they're worried about us? And we're like, no. And then you dropped me off and I almost leaped into goddamn ocean. Fucking yeah, the, I remember that. The, right? The fucking train thing, thing was under the had, water. We had to tell the bus driver how to get home. Right? And then Dave picked me up, brought me brought me to Eltingville, right? And then fucking, there was a conference call on the bus where the guy's like, which way do we go? And he's like, let's go to Eltingville. And I'm like, oh, I was like, but Eltingville is flooded. And I'm like, why would you go that way? And they're like, we could do it. And I'm like, oh, shit. It was like an episode of Walking Dead or The Mist. And we're like, should we go through this? Should we do this? And I'm like, no, we'll get killed by walkers. No. It was like, and of course you have that one person. They're like, we need to do it. And I'm like, shut up. Like, it was just like, that was crazy. Bro, I almost leaped into there. Right, Ray wanted us to stay in the store. Ha! Ah! Isn't that fucking funny? They were worried about our safety. Ray was worried about our safety. Mm-hmm. They wanted us to stay late. We stayed too late. And then we would have been trapped. Right? So they're like, oh, they don't want to get sued. So they're like, oh, you could work overnight and pack out some stuff. That's how you can stay in the store. You can do some grocery. You can do some this and uh, put the pharmacy totes there. And there you go. Oh, so this great. This is just yeah. The, um, okay, the games of this game released unexpectedly, like I said, and uh, the graphics are eh. But okay. Like I said, I, you can't you can't have it both ways, you know. So I'm not gonna complain about the graphics. I'm, as long as this game is not fucked up, where I can't get the platinum, then fuck it, I don't care. I'll accept this because this guy's got another game coming out in like two weeks. He's not even waiting the whole fucking month. <laughs> you know what? Keep going, bro. Keep putting your fucking airy games out. That's okay. As long as I'm employed, I can still get your game. <laughs> Eleven ninety nine twice. Okay. 
So, guys, <laughs> just to be funny, um, it's really going to be the post saga soon. So, <laughs> you want me to continue buying games and surviving? Send donations now to YouTube. Become a member of my YouTube channel, and I'll give you some perks. You could be on podcast. You could be this. I have the whole tier list available that I created. I have one member already, Liam, who pays every month three dollars, I think, and he gets perks. Everybody's gonna get perks, so I can get a YouTube check early. It'll be nice, and then to keep spreading the word. I'm fourth in America now on PlayStation profile, so. Spread the word to other avenues like Kick or Twitch or whatever. They can give me a deal. I'd be a multimillionaire. It would be fantastic that I just don't come back from vacation. I'm a multimillionaire streamer just doing this all day long and sitting on my ass. I would definitely have to leave the house so I could not gain weight. So like that's Jesus, you know. I would love to do this, you know. As like my, my natural thing. Just relax. Doing lessons. And going throughout the streets of New York City. Or wherever. If I was a millionaire. It would, it would be crazy. Right? Yeah. Right? We would go places. Right? Yeah. If I was rich. Had a corporate jet. I'd be like. You know what Sharon? I want to go have pizza. In Italy. <laughs> Let's go. We'll be back in time for tea. See, like it's like okay. Or I want to, I want to go look at Niagara Falls. Or I want to go um, sit on a beach in Florida. Or like, I want to go to Disney World or whatever. If I think the first thing I would do is if I became rich, I'd be like, we'll do one of those Super Bowl commercials. Like, I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> I might. Why not? If you just became rich, it's like you won the Super Bowl, right? I'm going to Disney World. Absolutely. Because that's what it's, everything's famous for at Disney World. You get a major, it's not even a Super Bowl anymore. It's like a major accomplishment. I'm going to, I'm going to Disney World. That's it. That's it. So, again, after, yeah, I know, it's pricey. I know. Bro, I become rich, you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> you and the whole damn family. Matrix load ain't going alone. Your kids are going on vacation. Your wife, you, me, Sharon, my boys. We're going to Florida. But we'll grab Jeff and Mia. And um, Jeff's wife. Everybody just have fun, right? Going. It'd be nice. I would like to do that. Like I said, if I ever became rich, I would do nice stuff for the community, too. Like, I always had in the back of my mind, if I was rich, I would probably want to help out my high school and just, or my library, and just, you know, get them new stuff for the kids, like computers and shit. Like, I would do stuff like that if I was rich. But we'll see. Maybe it'll happen one day, my dream come true. Be nice. Be nice, like, you know, be known so many years after I'm gone and be like, oh, to talk about me like they talk about Rockefeller or somebody else, you know? That'd be nice. Doing nice stuff for the community. Yep, taking care of people. Exactly. That's what we need to do. We need to look after each other as human beings. But anyway, um,. Hopefully one day. One day! Hopefully one day. Hopefully I become rich where I can enjoy it. <laughs> and not have a diaper on and just like... I don't know if I can go to Florida because I can't make it to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. But they gave me a robotic butt so it can store a lot of shit. No, I'm just kidding. Um... All right, flying through this game. So far, so good. I finished four levels. Um, we shall see. 
So this, if I if I get the platinum, hold on. Let me, actually, let me update. Did I update my PlayStation profiles? Probably not. Did I? I did. Okay, so I'll probably this will be five thousand nine hundred ninety. So now we're going to get into territory. Once this is completed, eyes are going to be on me seeing what the hell 10 games are going to be what's going to be the 6,000th platinum now i told you guys before i never gave a crap about milestone put it out there right now I, i'm not promising anything but i really want the 6,000th platinum to be crash bandicoot 3 warped um i'm gonna try no promises. I'm going to try to make it happen. Uh, I already played it today a little bit, but I'm going to live stream the crashes. Um, I'm going to try to make try. And I know all my buddies on here are going to remind me, like K-Rain and Unknown and Bad Wolf and everything. I'm going to try to make 6,000 Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, and I, again, I just got a triple A title, right, Kay? I got Tekken Eight platinumed. Yeah, text me. I I'm, I'm I see you texting me on the side of me, but I can't uh, re respond because I'm doing the game. But I will look at it later, Dave. Thank you so much. Um, so the plan is this, and I and I got some messages about my future battle. When I see Future Battle, of course, everybody's like, Matrix Lord, Matrix Lord, did you know that the guy Dave um, from wherever is, I think he, I don't know what, what country he's from, D-A-V, D right, da Dave, Dav, he reached 10,000 Platinums. Well, okay, that's the world title, but I'm nowhere near that guy, and I can't even be in competition with that guy yet, because I'm... I'm not even number one in America. So once I'm number one in America, yes, I can entertain going for the world title because I think at that time I will be 13 in the world. Right now I'm climbing. I'm 56 in the world. A couple of days ago I was 61. So um, I'm well aware of the other tier of people and, and what they're achieving. I, I look at the thing. People send me stuff. So I'm well aware about that guy. And again, me and that guy will face off at some point in time in the future. But the guy is so far ahead of me. I'm, I mean, you have to think about this now, right? The guy is over 4,000 Platinums from me. That means you got to beat 4,000 games each probably with 30 trophies, 20 trophies. But in order for me to beat him, like he's he's not taking vacation. So every single day, he's going to get a platinum, right? So even if I get the 4,000, I'm not going to catch him. So that's why, I, you know, I'm a lunatic when it comes to games and I just get crazy amounts. I, I would say me and him on the battlefield next year 2025 because there's no way possible i'm literally no way i'm gonna face him but this year this year i believe i could be number one in america now uh i am a little bit i have to do the cal uh, unknown has to do the calculations for me about how far away raining elbows is because i know raining elbows has been getting some platforms so uh, he is third rank, and again, uh, friendly competition, me and Raining Elbows. Raining Elbows played me in Tekken, and I was able to get the Platinum. Uh, he kicked my ass a million times. Thank God I got him. I beat him twice out of all the times he beat me, uh, so I got the Platinum. So um, Raining Elbows is a good guy, I I think. I mean, we had some nice interaction, so um, I'm gonna. I'm in competition. He's next. So I got to catch him. And again, I got to we got to run the numbers and see how many I have to get again right now. I'm on vacation, so make the best of it. I'm getting paid being home. Uh, if I'm ever going to catch up to him, now would be the time this coming week. 
because when I go back to work, uh, it's not going to be as much gaming, but it will be gaming. So this is the time for me to catch raining elbows. And then, of course, who is number two? Akum. Hakum is number two. He's no longer number one. And that was the whole goal was beating Akum that my son Joe said I could never beat. So uh, I will enjoy that um, beating him when the time comes and then beating the number one contender, TJ Meat, which those two, Akum and TJ Meat, are so far away from me. I Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they are 600 Platinums away from me. I could be wrong. But think about it. How many Platinums do I get in a month? It could be 200, 300, right? So I five months. Five months, maybe, or less to get to Akum. All right. Oh, how do I? That's coffee now is hitting. Oh, 600? Okay. It's only 600. And why I say only is because... You see how many Platinums I get a month. It's like 200, could be 300. I'm just crazy, right? So I passed already the 144,000 144, trophies. So I will be doing a video on that. Um, I'm going through 1,000 trophies like you wouldn't believe, right? Okay? So uh, I'm going through 1,000 trophies. Uh, and now I'm... I'm fuck. I'm sorry for cursing, but the coffee's kicking in. And I'm like, whoa! Whoa! I gotta make the toilet! So, like, I'm like, I have an inner battle right now. And I'm yelling at myself, like, no! You will not poop! And I'm, like, trying to find these fucking... Fe See that? What kind of... I'm trying to find feathers that remain in the air for no reason as a bird, which makes no sense, but that's the game, right? So I'm trying to find fucking feathers, drinking Nantucket coffee, Green Mountain, while my stomach is like, hey, man, um, you want to go to the toilet to make a deposit? And I'm like, no, not really. They're like, yeah, I think you do. And I'm like, oh! So right now it's like my stomach is, I'm just going to start making sounds. And I don't really want to get banned from YouTube. Yeah, I don't want to get banned from YouTube because they're like, um, yeah, in our guidelines, you're not allowed to fart on the air. So we have to suspend you. So, I mean, I don't want to get suspended, guys, really. So if I'm going to fart, I'm just going to abrupt this. This is going to end this stream. Sorry. I'm not going to embarrass myself. But, um... By my calculations, I have two minutes to find this. There we go. Never mind. Okay. Hopefully, this game is done in three minutes. I mean, this level, because I'm going to have to stop the stream. So, let's, let's, let's pray. Here we go. Thank you for having a feather in the air for no reason. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for your other feather. Thank you for being at orange or red, because... With this fucking bright ass screen that you constantly do develop, I wouldn't be able to see that shit. So, um, thank you. Okay, that's 17. Thank you. Oh, good. There we go. So, this is what's going to happen. Um, not to be vulgar, I'm just being professional, but um, I'm going to get all the feathers and then I'm going to use the, the bathroom and stop this stream. And then I may come back after I eat. Because I'm probably gonna have dinner after, so and spend some time with my beautiful Sharon, talking whatever, doing whatever. Um, so maybe we'll watch a movie. I don't know. We'll see. And I lost my feathers. See that now? This is not good. Because if I can't get the feathers, I have to shut it up and I have to redo this whole fucking level. So I really don't want to redo this whole level. Why would you want to redo the level? I would want to redo the level. This is looking nicer, this level. Um, nicer graphics, but... Oh, it wouldn't let me go there. Why? That's weird. It blocked me. Okay. So, guys, if... 
like I'm saying, no pressure. If you don't want to spend money to donate or whatever to me, just share my videos, you know, and talk about that Matrix Lloyd 2 and 2 guy trying to be number three in America on PlayStation profiles. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, word of mouth will soar this channel like never before and and soar my name. And that's the whole point is like, you know, I'm home now. So now's the time to make money. Thank you, bro. Thank you for liking my videos, Kay. That's all. I don't care. That that's good enough, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Say, hey, did you see that Matrix Lord guy? Let me show you the video. He got the Tekken Eight Platinum. That's right. That's right. Oh, and, and I know now not to download fucking games when I'm doing a live stream. I fucked that up. I was trying to... Why would I think the PlayStation would be that powerful to download fucking all these games? Thank you, Kay. You said, thank you. You are my favorite streamer. Thank you, Kay. I try to be. I try to show you guys all the games and... You know. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Kay. I thank Liam too. Liam's a member of my channel. He pays membership fees, which is crazy. Then anybody would pay for me, but okay. <laughs> thank you, Liam. I do want to get Liam on the podcast, though, because, you know. So, like I said, it was raining. I wasn't going out today. But if tomorrow's nice, because you can't be in the house all day, you know. I think he pays two ninety nine a month, or I set up tiers. I made it very cheap because I want you know. But I think it's I think it's two ninety nine or three dollars a month. He pays, not bad. It, it helps my channel because you know they'll see. Oh, he's got a member. He's got two members. He's got three members. Next thing you know, really? Oh, all right. If you want to, K. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Kay. That would be nice. I'll have two members. Okay, so my stomach my stomach is settling down. Could I do another level? Let's see. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sharon. I never call her Sharon. No. Yeah, thank you so much, sweets. Thanks, sweets. Hey, everybody. Matrix Lord don't have to poop now. Hey. Hey. Recorded. Yes. Oh my god. This is live. Oh my god. Did it record? Yes. Oh my god. It's on my channel forever. Oh, Unless I take it off. Such a memorable. But place. this is what's gonna happen when we become millionaires, right? We're gonna we're gonna go eat and stuff, and people are gonna watch us eat sometimes. Not all the time, but like stream. I was showing you clips of people like streaming and stuff, right? Remember? Yeah, I'm reading the messages on the side. Oh, oh, I know you do crypto. Maybe we'll talk when I have money. <laughs> Cryptocurrency, I know. That's the in thing. I know. Let me ask you a question, okay? Because I, 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 I value everybody's opinion. I don't like to cross the streams... And that terminology, that terminology is from Ghostbusters, right? But I never like to cross the streams with promoting my books on my YouTube channel because I felt that uh, it was a disaster when I had a troll give me negative reviews on Amazon and destroyed my book launch when I spent thousands that time. So, but what do you think if I just changed my tune and tried to promote my books on my on? You think it's a try? Maybe that was just a bad apple? What do you think? What do you think, Kay? Because so I got to really think about boosting my income. If somebody wanted to buy a book, they could just look me up. Yeah, well, this was before the gaming. This was when I was rising with the podcast and people were mad. Okay, I won't. That's, that's what I thought. Not to do it, yeah. 
I'll leave it the way it is. If you want to find out about the books, you'll have to go to a whole other thing to find out about it. It's not going to be on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I figured I would do that too. I figured I just wanted people's opinions to that. Yeah, for some reason, it's like, you know what's funny? It's like, I have fans that are gamers, and they know me for the gaming. Then I have fans that are podcasts, like, they love the podcast, and they're mad at the gaming. Then I have fans, they like the lessons when I review foods, but and they like that, and they're like, he's a gamer? What? And <laughs> so, like, I, when I do podcasts, people get confused, because they're like, um, why are you talking about Godzilla and Ghostbusters if you're a gamer? And I'm like, I was a podcaster first. They're like, oh. So, like, my audience doesn't know. I do so much shit that they don't fucking know everything I do. They don't know I have 13 books published um, somewhere in Barnes & Noble. You know, they don't know that. So, um... That's the thing. I lost my feather. But I gotta find it. Used to be used to crash into the wall. And it will make you appear where the feather is supposed to be. Yeah, thank you. That's it. I, I, like I said, I always go by the adage from the, the the famous line from Back to the Future. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And I've always believed that. I even told my kids that. Like, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Doesn't matter what people say. If you want something, you work hard for it. Just like when I needed to get by va- video games or extra stuff, I'd work overtime or whatever, or more hours, right? So... Um, if you want stuff in life, you, you do it to make it happen. You really work hard for it. And I really worked hard for that fourth rank. Everybody knows I was fifth rank for what? Almost a whole year, right? On and off. It was very hard to get that fourth rank. But you know what? It was easier when I was home because I was home. So I was able to just, you know, if I went to work, people are like, he's at work now. <laughs> and they're like getting like 25 platinums and I'm fucked right but now that I'm home and I had all this time on my hands I it was it was easy to do it because I had time on my hands full-time job it's hard but still gonna do it regardless but um you know that's why I guess some good things came from you know me being off and yesterday was a horrible horrible day but ended up nice because uh, you'll find out in the future what exactly happened. It's book related. So, um, you know, it, it, it's. I'm glad that the thing at night made the whole day cured, so to speak. I know, that's the thing. It's like people were saying that I, I platinum only easy games and then I platinum Bloodborne and they shut up like crickets then I platinum Crash Bandicoot then I platinum Crash Bandicoot 2 then I platinum Tekken 8 right I'm I'm trying my hardest to get hard platinums done too and I was playing Super Meat Boy and you know so people I prove people wrong all the time and I'm gonna continually do that like I'm going to go for the um, the triple A's when I can. And right now, Crash Bandicoot is back on the schedule. Crash Bandicoot warped because Bad Wolf is almost done with two. So hopefully I could get the video from him before I platinum three. But who knows? I might platinum three. I know Bad Wolf was sick. But and that's fine. I hopefully he's better. You hopefully he'll be better, bro. But I see you there. But um, oh, that's on the list too. I want to wake. I know you weren't feeling good, Bad Wolf. I know you were sick. I'm so I know. I said it was okay. I stopped playing Crash Warp because I, like I said, I didn't want my audience to get confused that um, Bad Wolf was made this video for me about Crash 2, but then I'm plotting Crash 3, so I didn't want 
people to get fucked up. So I was waiting on platinuming Crash 3 just so it wouldn't confuse the shit out of people because I don't want people confused, you know? So it happens. We all get sick, Bad Wolf. I said six levels in the can. And now I'm going to go to the can. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, I will continue the rest of Airy later. Um, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, share, mention my name, Matrix Lloyd 2 and 2. Mention me on Facebook, my real name, whatever, Joseph J. Capriccioso, whatever, for the books. Um, oh, he's flying already. This They didn't even give me a chance. It went right to this level. Why are you doing this, Airy? Oh, come on, Airy. Come on. Airy, you're killing me, bro. You're killing me. No, I can't run for president or do any politics. That was the deal, right, Sharon? What? We can't do no politics. No. No, that's a deal breaker. She said that's a deal breaker. We would break up, and I don't want to break up because we'll get married eventually. So, no. She's the one, you know? So she said no politics because she knows that I won't stop until I take over everything, become president of the United States. In this timeline. Maybe the next timeline. Let's see. Eventually. I do believe in that, though. I do believe in the multiverse. I do believe eventually we relive our lives or some shit, too. We'll see. In the next timeline, I'll be president of the United States. As myself. Do you believe that Matrix Lord 2 and 2, a YouTuber and published author and gamer, he's one of us, guys. He's the president of the United States. And every man, someone to look up to, Matrix Lord 212. Just imagine. He's a gamer, just like you, if you play games. He's a published author. He's a YouTuber, a podcaster. And now he has entered the political spectrum and has taken over different positions in the political world to reach the final destination of becoming president of the United States of America. That's right. On Earth, too. <laughs> Imagine. Never know. You never know. Never know. Aerie didn't even give me a chance. He jumped right into the board. Didn't even give me a chance, Harry. Nope. No chance! That's right. I Oh, let's talk about the Doctor Who trailer, because that was interesting. That happened yesterday, right? Or the day before. What'd you guys think? I really should do Real Whovians on it later. Because I always do reviews of Doctor Who, and being that we just got the Doctor Who trailer for the new season... I got to show Sharon the trailer, but um, I like the trailer, got to say. I did like it. I like his enthusiasm. I like his energetic, youthful attitude. Like, it just, he's got, like, that thing, you know, about him. He's just proud to be the doctor, you know, and I think, you know, whenever anybody takes over the role, they're, like, excited, and they're running around like Matt Smith was and stuff, too, so... This guy's really getting into it, uh, Shooty Gatwa, really making it his own. So I'm I'm excited for him, and I'm excited to see what he does as the Doctor, and I'm excited about the villains. And then we got the musical episode, which will never been done in Doctor Who, so that's going to be interesting how they do the... I guess the villain is a musical entity that makes everybody sing and dance, so that's going to be fucking weird, but... They did do it with Buffy, so, and I know Russell T. Davis is a fan of Buffy, so I know everybody always wanted to do what Buffy did, 
with the musical part episode or whatever. I think it was like a spell and they were all singing and shit. Star Trek did that already. They had to. They wanted to. I know that pissed off a lot of Star Trek fans, but some people were happy with it. Um, Seeing the Klingons fucking sing. That was weird. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I look forward to that too. Um, but the thing I've been saying for a while and people will... We'll talk about it on the podcast as I told everyone that Moffat was back for over two years and he was writing for Doctor Who again and nobody fucking believed me and now he's act they're actually filming the second season with Moffat's scripts. He's doing some of the writing. So like now it's come out that he's written episodes for season one. They're like, Oh my god! Moffat's back. Yeah, I knew this two years ago. And let me tell you something. I had people cursing me. You don't know what the you're talking about. Where's your source? Where's your this? Yeah, source. Exactly. Thank you. I have a great source. Okay? And guess what? That source was right. Moffat's been back. Said that two years ago. That he's writing scripts. Two years ago. Nobody listens. And I said, don't be too surprised. I said, if Matt Smith comes back... Karen Gillan, Arthur Darvill, Alex Kingston, Jenna Louise Coleman. I said, don't be too surprised because the funny thing about the interaction between friend, friends like Russell T. Davis and Chris Chibnall and Stephen Moffat is that I, mean, I know there's a conversation and I know the conversation from Moffat to RTD is like, okay, you brought your boy back, David Tennant. I'm going to bring my boy back now too with his companions. And he's like, I. And I'm telling you right now, don't be too surprised if maybe Shooty regenerates. You have some specials with Matt Smith until we get another doctor, I'm telling you. Don't be too surprised. Because the doctor could regenerate and take old faces for whatever reason. Or new faces or whatever. So I'm telling you, um, now Capaldi's not coming back. We know that. They burned him bad. So he's like, F them. He's not coming back at all. But... I believe Matt Smith will come back. We already heard that River's back and Moffat's back, so you know it's the beginning. I'm telling you, I want to listen. Moffat's back, and don't be too surprised. They, didn't you see the banter on Insta Instagram where, when I think it was Instagram, Moffat's like, oh, why can't we have Sally Sparrow back? And Russell T. Davis is like, he's like, just write it. You want Sally Sparrow back with the, with the Weeping Angels? Just do it. Because that, you know, he's the showrunner. He's like, you want it? You're my friend? Just write the shit. And I'll I'll make it. You want to make cupcakes? Make fucking cupcakes. So, like, Moffat wants to bring Weeping Angels back with Sally Sparrow? Then fucking do it. So, I expect it. Expect wonderful fucking things. You know? Expect wonderful day. I'm happy Moffat's back. And and uh, the invitation was sent to Chris Chibnall. Um, and if, and he declined. He's doing a play and okay. Um, I don't know if that means that if he, Chris Chibnall came back, he would bring back uh, Jodie Whittaker. I would think so. Maybe he would try to. Maybe Russell T. Davis wants him to explain. Wow, the flag's there. Uh, maybe Russell T. Davis wants him to explain the um, Timeless Child. Because I don't know what the hell the Timeless Child is now. Because it looks like the toy maker split the doctor. I don't know if it's because of the bi regeneration or because of something else that the toy maker did, but probably something else because it looks like he squished cheese or puzzled his origin. So he somehow split the doctor in two. And then one doctor ended up as a little child coming through a portal or something happened. So, you know. So I don't know. I would like I, I would like to believe that the doctor is not from another universe. The doctor is from Gallifrey. But that maybe because of time travel, 
Dr. 800 was regenerated into a baby, a kid, and then lived a whole life again, or some shit. I don't know. So. Who knows? Ah, <sighs> but... The thing that would make sense is that the Thomas Child is a future doctor. Well, the thing is that Doctor Who is commissioned. There's a commission date, and I've always told you guys this. Um, the series, if we're going to go by series... 15 is not the last series because Russell T. Davis already has written series 16, which is would be the third season of Shooty. If Shooty's around. If it's Shooty's not around, it could be specials with Matt Smith until the 16th or whatever, or maybe just the 16th. Um, but Doctor Who is not is is protected and commissioned. And it's not a two-season thing from Disney+. Plus. So as much as people do not like in certain things and they want to be like, oh, it's done after two years. No, it's commissioned. It's pretty much set that it isn't going anywhere. Um, you can't just... You have a huge contract with a huge corporation like Disney+, Plus, and you've got to give it a chance to see how it does. So if it's doing bad... At the end of season two, Disney will make a decision. But we're not even at season two. Um, so, again, um, Russell T. Davis had committed to doing four seasons. And he's, he's either done with writing season three or almost done. But uh, he's also committed to doing The Doctor after... 15 so um he said this okay and again if russell t davis leaves he's not leaving entirely because his company production company whatever is working on it so moffat more than likely will be the new showrunner again um or a co-showrunner with gatus or something um they might do a co-showrunner like two showrunners because gatus and moffat did sherlock so they might do it like that, where the pressure isn't on completely one person. So there's two showrunners. So Moffat may agree to that. So that way, if he wanted to do shit, he could just be off, and then Gatiss could run it for a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like almost like a opening shift and a closing shift. Like, so because Doctor was so important that maybe you need two showrunners sometimes. So, I do feel that Moffat will be showrunner again, uh, but not Chris Chibnall. But, again, they got to gear up a new person for Doctor Who. So, and it's been going on while Russell T. Davis is showrunning. He's trying to find, besides Moffat, somebody that's going to take over the show for, like, years to come. And not just a two-year person, like, invest. For series one, which would be, I guess, series 14. Series 15, which would be series two. Series three and series four. Um, as far as Disney Plus goes, I believe that Disney Plus will have series one, two, and three. So as much as people want it to fail, they got it. Um, I mean, we're all, you know, if you're going to be a real journalist... You got to report the news accurately, and the accurate thing is, Doctor is not getting canceled as much as you want it to be, but it's secure. People may jump up and down. I hate it. No, it's it's contract. Uh, it's set. Um, now, Shooty may not be around for two more than two seasons. We don't know yet, 
because that, that, that's that been up in the air. I don't know what's going on with that. Something about he wanted to do his play. I don't know if he's going to do specials. I don't know if that's like when David Tennant did a play or something, they did specials. So I don't know if <clears throat> they're going to cut the season in half and shoot he's going to do half a season or that's going to be the third season. It's going to be a small season. I don't know. But we shall see. But you won't have to worry about that until 2026. So, you know, we're in 2024. Let's focus on 2024, you know. Uh, he had the first episode. It, the You know, I, it didn't, I didn't like it. Didn't sit well with me. But, again, that was one episode he did. So let's see what he does, you know. And I know the companion was fired. So they got a new companion for the new season. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how, if the relationships are bad now, where she would come back or not, Ruby, but um, Melly Gibson, whatever. So, oh, I you expect to see the Daleks. Absolutely. I mean, I would expect to see at least one episode with the Daleks. Um, but for appearance or something. I mean, well, actually, think about it, right? If you're talking about uh, uh, um, that the Daleks have to make an appearance, they did make an appearance because they made an appearance in Children in Need. So there you go. Made your appearance already. If they have to appear every year or whatever, they already appeared. So. And... I think Russell Teeth Saver said that that deal was bullshit, but we, I don't know, know about that. Because, again, I would think it's not bullshit because I think the deal is still in place that they have to appear at least once every season or once a year to do with the, the, the thing. And, again, they appeared in the Davros episode, so... And in children in need, that's counted as canon because it has to count as canon, so it's counted as a Dalek appearance. You know? So. Again, Russell T. Davis is paying for using the rights to the Doctor and characters, and he's also paying the, the Dalek estate there to uh, use the Daleks. So they have their own contract, you know, to which it was always believed that they had to, oh, there we go, that they have to appear. That's not a fucking feather. Uh, okay, so now we come to the level where we get one or two levels of airy where the developer really likes to give us the finger. And for some reason really wants us to work overtime to look for this fucking feather. And now he also makes the feather where you can't see the fucking feather. Like this one. Let's make a black feather in a black board landscape with mostly brown and black. So with little blue lighting. Thank you, developer, because now it's like almost impossible to find this shit. But this is like... He does that one or two levels of airy. It's like a big finger. He does. Yo! Okay. Okay, just tell me... Because I don't have my screen on. If somebody gives me a donation, tell me, okay? And I'll thank them. Only because I don't have my screen. And I don't want to stop the bird from flying there. I just want to get it as fast as possible. So if somebody gives me a donation, let me know. So I can thank them. This has to be the last double for me. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't know why I'm... Holding it in like this, but that's good.
One more feather. Act, oh wait, this is act 10. How many acts are there? Let me see something. Oh, this is the last level. Squeeze those cheeks. All right, here we go. <laughs> Not to be vulgar. All right, let's go, Aerie. This is the last level. Then there's a platinum. Nice cows. Terrible looking cows, right? One. Mm. Two. Four. Six. Seven. Oh shit. Wait, does it count? Ah, uh, no. I think it's PS4. Okay. I don't see it. Oh. Hold on. Ah. There we go. Oh. Shit. Sorry. No, I haven't played Minecraft. Oh. 
shit. I'm gonna go fly in this way. Ah, got that, okay, there you go, got that, okay, there you go, got that, okay, one more, I think this is 5,990, there you go. platinum yep thank you guys this is 5,990 right yes take care bye for now airy ancient empires